There are a couple other harmony based or chord based apps on GarageBand that allow me to create music based off of a chord progression. We looked at Smart Guitar already, let's take a look at some of these other ones and just kind of quickly breeze through the different features. On Smart Keyboard, I can do the same progression, but allows me to arpeggiate different things. Now, Arpeggiator is this button right here. If I run that, every time I tap it, it's going to go up and down as if I were strumming the specific notes of a chord on a keyboard. Sounds best with autoplay, usually. I can also look at different settings. I can make it more electronic or more organ-like. For instance, Now the most important part when you're adding another harmony based instrument is to make sure it matches your chord progression. Otherwise it's going to sound like just plain noise. And that is going to turn most people off to this app. So if you remember the last time we looked at the GarageBand guitar app, we followed a simple C, F, G, C chord progression. If you don't know what a chord progression is, take a look at the chord progression file also saved with these different recordings. So I'm going to do this. My chord progressions changes on measure 1, measure 3, measure 5, and measure 7. So I'm going to leave the Solar Sailor sound on there. I think it's going to be a good distortion sound that's going to match with my acoustic guitar. So I hit record. It's going to give me a four second count off. And then I'm going to start my first version. Green means it's recorded and I can stop. Now you saw me playing around with the upper and lower sounds. When I do that on this recording, it changes the different octaves that I'm allowed to use. So I get just the high sounds or just the low sounds. On this specific app and this specific autoplay, it's not that great a deal. But as you can hear, if I switch the autoplay a little bit, it gives me more of that bass tone. Now, let's go and explore a couple of different, um, some of the other apps that you can use on GarageBand. Smart Bass allows me to do much of the same. <clears throat> I can select my chord, I can use its specific bass or type of uh, mixer, retro bass there, or whatever. I'm going to stick to the muted and I'm going to just kind of play around with some of the different autoplay settings with the bass. And if I really like this sound and I wanted to add it to the mix, I'd record that as well. I'm going to go and take another look at my other option, the strings option. Now in Smart Strings, it gives you the full orchestra version. Depending on what type of sound you want, a cinemata cinematic, sorry, I can't speak today, modern, pop, romantic, um, this different style of strings also plays into the autoplay. Now, you can, um, you can strum up and down like you saw me doing with the guitar. And you can play it that way, or you can use the autoplay. Either one works. Just when you are using it, when you're doing it manually, you got to make sure that you're kind of feeling the beat. Otherwise, when you release or start the next one, it's going to get those transition times in your chord progression a little muddy sounding. The nice thing about this app is you can deselect different parts of it. If you just want the high strings, Or if you want multiple strings, you just add them back in. Your autoplay options sound like this.
And those are the other Harmony apps.